So if you've ever been on the export page in DaVinci Resolve, you know that it can look a bit confusing. There's a lot of options and it's easy to get confused. So what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you exactly how to export your videos for your specific scenario in DaVinci Resolve 18. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I just wanna say first off, I'm making this tutorial as simple as I possibly can. I don't wanna make a super complicated tutorial. I see a lot of those on YouTube and I just wanna make something simple that basically anybody can understand because I know a lot of you guys are just starting off with DaVinci Resolve. So that being said, um, here on our timeline, you can see we have our video that is ready to export our cinematic masterpiece, if you will. And so the first thing, and I promise you, we are not going to get more complicated than this. The first thing you want to go down and click on the gear icon and we want to mess with our timeline resolution. Now, when you're editing, you typically want to edit in 1080p. You can change that by going here. And the reason why you want to do that is it's just kind of silly to be editing in 4k because it's just going to take up a lot of your computer's resources and a lot of people using lower end computers it's going to run very stuttery so i like to edit in 1080p now if we want to export as a 4k video for example what we would do is click on the timeline resolution and then we would go to ultra hd and that's going to switch it over you want to make sure that you switch it over otherwise you're going to be exporting in 1080p and you don't want that all right, so the simplest way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna go up here to the toolbar, we're gonna go to file, and then you'd think that we're gonna go to export, but DaVinci Resolve is tricking us because we wanna go to quick export. And from here, you could export, I typically like to export in H.265 because it's a smaller file and it's higher quality, but if you wanna export to YouTube or something, then you can just click on that, click export, and you'll be good to go, and it's gonna export your timeline. Now look, I must admit, I have never actually exported a video like that, I have always gone down here to the rocket ship. And when we click on the rocket ship, it doesn't take us to the moon. It takes us to the export page. This is the export page. You can see we have a timeline here, uh, but we can't edit our video or anything like that. This is just for previewing. It's going to default to custom export and we can do literally anything that we want here. So look, you could change the file name and change the location and you could click add to render queue and then render all and you'd be completely fine with this. Again, it doesn't have to be more complicated than it needs to be, but I'm going to show you guys typically what I like to do as far as exporting. What I like to do is I usually go to H.265 master. I like to export in H.265 because a lot of my content is going on the internet and it's going on YouTube and Instagram and social media and H.265. Basically what it means without getting too nerdy is it's a more compressed version than H.264, but it's going to have better quality and probably a bunch of other different stuff that I don't know about because I'm not a super nerd and I don't care. I just want it to look good. <laughs> okay, so H.265 master, it's gonna, it's gonna reset your file name. So we're gonna do test video one and then your location, whatever location you want. Typically I do it the professional way, AKA putting it on your desktop. Um, that's not professional by the way. I don't know, it's, that's just what I do. Um, and then you're gonna see here, it's gonna say render. You wanna make sure you're on a single clip if you want to render out this whole timeline as one clip if you selected individual clips what it would do is it would take each one of these cuts and export it as an individual video and that can be good if you wanted to export this video to another um to another editor or whatever or if you wanted to export each of these as like a reel or um a TikTok video or something but I have, again, I don't think I've ever used that. So I'm just going to go to single clip because I always export things as a single clip. So typically what I like to do is I just export in a QuickTime format. That's going to be a MOV file, or you could export uh, an MP4 file. Again, I like to do H.265. H.264 is going to be a bigger file. Uh, use hardware acceleration if possible. That just basically means it's going to export faster. Now your resolution. So your resolution should match the menu in the little gear icon here. It should match the timeline resolution. Um, if you see 1080p here, but you wanna ex export in 4K, you wanna go down to the gear icon and you wanna change your resolution to Ultra HD. Otherwise it's gonna upscale and it's just not gonna be as good. Your frame rate, you wanna make sure that it is the frame rate that your timeline is at, which in this case, if we go back to our friend, the gear icon, you can see 29.97, perfect. You never wanna change your frame rate in the export page because it's just gonna not, it's gonna mess up. It's not gonna look good. Now for quality, this is a contentious debate 
a lot of people say that you should always go click restrict to and then there's a bunch of different ways that people say some people just say put a hundred thousand in there some people say the amount that you put in here should be two thousand times your frame rate so if you were recording in 30 frames per second you'd want to have this at 60,000 so I typically like to do a hundred thousand um, just because I've always gotten great quality from that and I don't mind a little bit of a bigger file but I'm gonna let you guys in on a secret I have usually just used automatic and it's come out looking just fine and nobody has complained uh, looks great looks just fine so if you're confused either go here and restrict to a hundred thousand or just hit automatic it doesn't matter your encoding profile can be in either auto or high again I've always had it in auto had good results and that's pretty much it for that then uh, we would hit add to render queue and it's basically just going to add this to this queue here and if you had multiple projects that you wanted to export you could add in multiple projects here you would select these guys you'd hit render all and then it would render out your video files so if you wanted to get a lot less technical, DaVinci Resolve has a bunch of different options up here. And an option that a lot of you guys are probably going to be using is the YouTube option. So you can go click here, uh, click on YouTube, and then you can click 2160p. And then it's going to basically take care of everything for you. Only thing I would change here is H.265 codec, because again, smaller file size, less upload time to YouTube. And DaVinci Resolve takes care of everything else for you. So as you can see, there are a lot of other options here. And to be completely honest, you don't really have to worry about these. You could do just fine uh, either clicking YouTube or custom or H.265 and you're going to be just fine. All right. So like I said earlier, once you're done messing with all of your settings, you're going to want to hit add to render queue and then you're going to select render all and then it's going to render out for you. All right. Awesome. Cool. So we finished exporting and it took me a ridiculous four minutes to export this eight second clip and i'm pretty sure that's because i'm screen recording as well i'm on one of the new macbook pros and usually i could render out a uh, eight second clip in about negative two seconds because these things are so freaking fast but anyways so when, once we're done with the export you can right click on this and you can click reveal and finder and then it's going to show you a very messy desktop and then it's going to show us our rendered out video clip pretty cool right so this is our cinematic masterpiece and that is how you export videos in davinci resolve i hope that really helped you guys out and cleared up some confusion if this video helped you go ahead leave a like leave a comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace